Hello viewers, welcome to SS Tutorial. Today in this video, we will discuss about Cloudburst. So let's begin. Cloudburst is nothing but a sudden and extreme rain. Sometimes it occurs with hail and thunder. Occurs for a short period of time in a small area. Cloudburst is mostly associated with flash flood, which may lead to disaster or disaster-like situation. The term Cloudburst was introduced in 1946 by Ralph Ule from the United States Geological Survey. He defined cloudburst as a torrential downpour of rain with a relatively high intensity over a relatively small area. Here we should remember that though it terms as cloudburst but it does not mean that cloud is actually burst like bomb. Extreme amount of rain falls suddenly for a short period of time in a smaller area. That's why it terms as cloudburst. Here rain is not occurs as a water droplet. Rain is occur like a stream of water. In case of cloud burst, rain occurs over 100 mm per hour. Over a very small area, it ranges only 20 to 30 square kilometer. Cloud burst is characterized as geohydrological hazard. It is common in the mountainous area, but sometimes it may occur in the desert also. Almost every year, cloud burst creates disaster or disaster like situation in Himalayan region, which affects people as well as environment. And it damages property, infrastructure, environment, and so on. Do you know how and why cloud burst occurs? According to meteorologists, when warm air mass contact with very cold air mass, then it creates a high dense cloud, which causes cloud burst. In the mountain area, when huge amount of warm air with full of water vapor obstructed by mountains, then this warm air starts to move upward along with the mountain slope. After reaching dew point, it condensed and forms cloud. As the warm air continues to rise, it prevents free fall of water droplet as rain from the cloud and this warm air pushes the cloud upwards. As rain does not occur, water droplets begin to accumulate within the cloud and water droplet becomes big to bigger and also cloud becomes dense to denser. After a certain period of time, when cloud density increases excessively, then suddenly this denser cloud is broken by the wind. Then rain occurs. But it does not occur as water droplet, it occurs as a stream of water. This incident is known as cloud burst. Cumulonimbus cloud is associated with cloud burst. Generally, it occurs with the height of 1000 to 2500 meter from the mean sea level. Cloud burst is most common in the mountainous region, especially in the Himalayan region. It triggers mass movement, landslide, and flash flood of that region. Cloud burst generally occurs in monsoon season due to monsoon clouds as it is filled with water vapor. In case of Himalayan region, when southwest monsoon obstructed by the Himalaya, then southwest monsoon moves upward and forms highly dense cloud, which causes cloud burst in Himalayan region. There is no any satisfactory instrument by which we can predict cloud burst. Only by using Doppler radar may predict about cloud burst. But it has not yet been possible to install Doppler radar in all places of Himalaya. So it is very hard to forecast when and where cloud burst will occur. As it is very hard to forecast, several times it creates disaster or disaster-like situation, especially flash flood and landslide, as it rains intensively. Let's know some effects of cloud burst. Cloud burst causes mainly glacial lake outburst, flash flood, landslide, mass movement, and debris flow. But it also causes loss of life, property, livelihood, and so on. It also causes accident and road closure. It destroys environmental stability and loss of biodiversity. In India, the states of Uttarakhand, Sikkim, and Himachal Pradesh are more vulnerable for cloud burst. That's all for today. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please like and share this video. And if you are new in my channel, then please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.